The Secretary of Homeland Security said today that someone outside government will soon be appointed to lead an independent review of the security failures at the Trump rally. He also announced that Robert F. Kennedy Jr., the independent party candidate, will get Secret Service protection. More now from CBS's Nancy Cordes at the White House. Adjustments have been made to the former president's uh, detail to the current president's detail. Homeland Security Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas called Saturday's shooting a security failure, though he insisted today he still has confidence in Secret Service Director Kimberly Cheadle. Is the Secret Service stretched too thin? We draw upon resources not only across the federal government, but with state and local law enforcement. And I do intend to speak uh, with members of the Hill with respect to the resources that we need. As the Republican convention gets underway, the Biden team is moving cautiously to restart its own campaign advertising after pulling all ads this weekend as a sign of respect. They say the president's goal after the assassination attempt is this. We need to lower the temperature. Lower the temperature, bring the temperature down. It comes after a few Republican lawmakers have baselessly suggested that Trump's shooting was an inside job directed by Democrats. How do you feel, how does the rank and file feel when they hear that? First of all, that is preposterous, and it is also dangerous to propagate rumors that are so unequivocally false. In an interview with NBC this afternoon, Biden was asked about some of his own rhetoric, including his frequent claim that Trump is a threat to democracy. How do you talk about the threat to democracy, which is real, when a president says things like he says? Do you just not say anything because it may incite somebody? Vice President Kamala Harris reached out to Trump's VP pick, Senator J.D. Vance, this afternoon. She told him uh, that she had congratulations. She welcomed him to the race in a voicemail message, and she said she hopes to see him in the vice presidential debate that has been proposed by CBS News. That would be what must see TV. Definitely. Nancy Cordes, thank you.